Hello there. My name is Peter Capaldi, and I am the new Doctor. I didn't get. I didn't get into drama school. That's what happened. Oh, no, I wanted to go to drama school. I wanted to be an actor. Yeah. And they basically said, "You're too big. Your eyebrows are too active. Your, your face is too, <laughs> expresses too much." Let, let's put it this way, I was slightly larger than life, probably, in my uh, no. Shakespearean uh, I didn't know anything about Shakespeare, anything about acting. I just Did you get Shakespeare at school? No. No. no, we didn't get acting, we didn't get anything like that. So, yeah. I don't know where, I, I mean, I just fancied being an actor. I wasn't really interested in the theatre or no. Chekhov or anything like that. Fancy really and Josie, that's what we used to see, you know, so... Uh, I really didn't have any, I didn't have a clue. So I, I applied to drama school, and I, of course, me being me, I decided to apply to RADA. Uh, and the RADA? Yeah, the RADA, uh, and I was off their RADA very quickly. And we went, uh, and I went down to London and did all that, and was humiliated and, and felt terrible, and I thought, oh, I better do something. Well, I'll go and ask. <laughs> Could I talk to you about that? There's a kind of alternative plan for the place. Get us at the labs, isn't it? He's got all the details. What do you mean? It's a kind of oil thing, a terminal or something. No. I don't see that happening here. I don't see that at all. Only macro. What's happened? It's just the northern lights. Aurora Borealis. High energy protons spilling over into our atmosphere. They get through the magnetic shield where it's weak, at the poles. Oh, it's still beautiful, I don't care what you call it. How often does this happen? Oh, any old time. Although it's best when the sun's active. That gets the solar wind up, and that's where the protons come from. You say the darndest things, Marina. Seriously, the PM likes you personally. I like you personally. And we have absolutely no desire to get rid of you. I just want you to know that. None of this negative stuff is coming from us. That makes a big difference, makes me feel a lot more secure. Does it? <laughs> well, it's difficult. What, what's difficult? Just endless headlines, day on after on day, on 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 chipping away at confidence. Absolutely. Now, you see, the thing is that we're starting to look weak. Everybody's saying, when's he going to go? When's he going to go? Right. And you don't want us to look weak, do you? No. No. So there you are. That's why you've got to go? No. Yes. No. Would you like some coffee? Fuck off. Tea? You fuck off, darling. Malcolm, look, um, if you do this, it's the bollocks of the jungle out there, you know? They're like wolves. Pissed wolves. I've made the announcement. I've told the lobby you're going, Cliff. You've told the lobby I'm going? Yeah, sorry, Cliff. Minister. Yeah, get used to Cliff. I've booked you in for the usual soapy tip wank farewell at number 10 in 20 minutes. I've also drafted you a letter of resignation. Gives you the chance to say that you're jumping before you're pushed, although obviously we're going to be briefing that you were pushed. Sorry. Um, look, tell you what, <laughs> you, don't need, you, know, you don't need to do that on this. What about Tom? Yeah? You know, everybody knows he's fucking up transport. We can't sack Tom at transport. We can't lose anyone at transport. They're important. What, and social affairs isn't? Oh, OK. The Department of Social Affairs is very important, but it's not transport. Transport's cars, buses, trucks. Road. I know what transport fucking entails. Look, look. <sighs> look, look at them. I'll look at them. Personal reasons. Yeah, I thought that would give you adequate scope. Scope? What, like, um, what, shooting up in the cabinet office or something? What, stuffing a cat out my ass and having a whack? What do you mean, scope? You know, this could be a great deal worse. You have had a good innings. <sighs> You've been here for 18 months. And you know, I have written some very nice things about you in the PM's reply to your resignation. Some very nice fucking things indeed. I had a lump in my throat. And you know why? Because no one who matters thinks any the less of you over this so far. OK? Right. One more thing. The Daily Mail. David Topham has got it into his head that we are going to sack you because of press pressure. I wonder why. Look, 
You're in no position to dish out fucking sarcasm. That's over. You no longer have purchase in the sarcasm world. Get on the phone. Tell them that you're jumping before you're pushed, although we were going to push you, but not because of press pressure, but because of your deeply held fucking personal issues, whatever they were. You want me to write my own obituary? Get on the fucking phone. No. You know, I'd just like to... to keep on doing this. I mean, because I've I... been around long enough to know that you don't always get to do this. This is true. Times change and, you know, and particularly for actors, you know, you go through they periods when true. people don't want you. Yeah. Uh, and I, I would be very happy to continue working. Yeah. Because I, I love going to work and I'm very lucky in that respect. I'd just like it to carry on. Death shall have no dominion. <laughs>